The history of submarines is one of covert missions and warfare. From the ancient Greeks to the American Revolutionary War to the present, seaborne forces have been working to perfect the stealthy submersible and keep their improvements and developments a secret. As time passes, however, Many once highly classified missions and vehicles have come to light, giving us the opportunity to look at some of the most closely held secrets of submarines of the last century. Covert Post-World War I German Sub-Construction Submarine technology was so new at the time of the First World War that there is little to say about secret developments and missions. The Germans used their fleet of submarines to great effect. Though the early model submarines had not been designed for combat, they were intended merely as a showpiece for their navy. They did heavy damage to underprepared commercial vessels, but were easily outgunned by warships when it came to combat. However, they were nonetheless pivotal to the German strategy and it is said that when the submarine fleet was sunk, Germany had lost the war. So it should come as no surprise, perhaps, that soon after the Treaty of Versailles ended World War II, the German Navy set about finding ways around the clause that forbade them from rebuilding their submarines. Though they had been limited by the treaty to the use of patrol craft and old destroyers, the German Navy skirted this limitation by setting up German shell companies with German engineers in Holland and Finland, where they perfected the design for the infamous U-boats they used in World War II. In the interim, they built submarines and other vessels and sold them to other European navies, using the funds from the sales to continue their development programs. German officers would then be sent to those outposts in Holland and Finland to train on the subs, meaning that by the time Hitler challenged the Treaty of Versailles in the 1930s and began making the moves that ultimately led to World War II, the Germans had secretly developed and built submarines and trained its officers to make use of them over the course of more than a decade. Cold War subs secretly lost, the Thresher and USS Scorpion. The robust use of submarines in the First and Second World War is well documented, however, probably the most notable period of rapid development for the submarine was in the Cold War between the United States and Soviet Union. As with on land, in the air, and in space, there was a highly classified underwater arms race, and much of the menacing between the two nations was done below the water surface. Submarine development from the 1960s until the 1980s, and even beyond the official end of the Cold War, was so secretive that, when two American subs, one a new, high-tech model and the other in an experimental maintenance program, sank due to technological failures, the stories were kept under wraps until just a few years ago. Declassified almost 50 years after their respective incidents, we now know the stories of the USS Thresher and USS Scorpion. The USS Thresher was, for its time, an incredibly high-tech submarine model. It was a submarine built for stealth and quiet movement, meant to seek and destroy Soviet submarines. She had advanced weapons and sonar and used a nuclear propulsion system. She was commissioned in 1961 and was used in the development of the Subrock anti-submarine missile. In April of 1963, however, she undertook a deep-sea dive test stopping every 100 feet to check systems were working. At almost her maximum test depth, the rescue ship waiting above received a communication that there were some minor issues, then shortly thereafter a final garbled communication. The Thresher had sunk, likely, according to retrospective investigations, due to structural integrity issues and possibly due to a leak causing the reactor to shut down. All 129 personnel aboard were killed, making it the first ever nuclear submarine lost at sea and the second deadliest submarine sinking ever. The USS Scorpion was another American Cold War submarine that sank under mysterious circumstances. Kept classified for almost 50 years, the reason she sank is similarly only hypothesized. Commissioned in 1960, the Scorpion was in service for eight years before her crew was lost in May of 1968. She was lost somewhere in the Mediterranean on her way home. Initial reports were that one of the Scorpion's own torpedoes had somehow become activated and attacked her. Many have hypothesized that the real reason for her sinking has been kept a secret. At present, the US Navy has concluded all investigations and found the reason to be inconclusive, but that a cataclysmic event had occurred. However, a former crewman from the ship reported that it had been undergoing a special maintenance program and that the crew felt the Scorpion was in dangerously poor condition. 
The two ships are necessarily tied together for one good reason. When he was seeking funds to hunt for the wreck of the Titanic in the 1980s, the Navy approved funding for Dr. Robert Ballard to go, provided he also spend time checking the wrecks of the Thresher and Scorpion, both to ascertain anything he could about the causes of their sinking and to check radiation levels since both were nuclear-powered vessels. So Ballard checked both ships on the same trip as he discovered the lost Titanic. That, too, was a secret until the mid-2010s. He was worried someone might figure it out or question the trip, but it turns out finding the Titanic was enough to distract the world's attention. The Halibut Another Cold War secret, the USS Halibut's covert 1968 mission was exposed in 1994 by the New York Times. Part of the whole fleet of secret submarines used for deep-sea spying, President Jimmy Carter sent the Halibut to examine a Soviet sub that had sunk in the Pacific, and the Halibut reportedly did so successfully. The Halibut was part of a highly secret program which was still, to some degree, in effect in the early 90s when Dr. John P. Craven, who had headed the mission, described aspects of their findings in a letter to a Senate subcommittee. The Navy and CIA declined to comment, but experts suggested that Craven's 1994 comments might have led to an increase in the Navy's submarine budget to help them get back on the cutting edge of submersible technology. Though the U.S. continues to keep many of their cards close to their chests when it comes to their stealth submarines, it's very possible that was indeed the case. Soviet Submarine Secrets Similarly, while secrets were being kept on the American side of the Cold War, the Soviet Union had their own stealthy submarines. In fact, it's estimated that, at one point, the Soviet Union had as many as 500 submarines in use, more than any other navy. Today, we know that while the Thresher and Scorpion were sinking, the Soviet Union similarly lost at least seven ships at sea and sank around 16 submarines of their own accord. One such ship was the K-129, which sank on March 8, 1968, also under mysterious circumstances. This was the ship Dr. Craven was sent to explore in the Halibut and which later may or may not have been recovered by the CIA, though there was some murmuring that the attempt to salvage it was a boondoggle. What is known is that there was radioactive contamination of the wreckage and that government responses to requests for more information have led to the popular phrase which has fueled many X-Files plots, I can neither confirm nor deny. Some secrets will have to remain secret. Additionally, there is a former top secret Soviet submarine base on the Crimean Peninsula that is now a museum and open to the public. The base closed in 1992, and today you can see it for yourself. If you want to visit Crimea, or just watch Anthony Bourdain visit it in a 2011 episode of No Reservations, may he rest in peace. A curved tunnel that once held supplies for 30 days. The former base has a dry dock and long underground canal located deep under a mountain. Highly secretive? Without a doubt. Secret Arctic Trip 2013 it's no secret that the USS Seawolf class of submarines can stay submerged for long periods of time, and no longer a secret that the vessels have made trips under the Arctic for diplomatic purposes and to patrol northern waters. But, in 2013, their first sub-Arctic trips were only rumors. Rumors bolstered by the fact that they left the west coast of the US and, a month later, were giving the US ambassador to Norway a tour of the ship at Hakonsvern naval base. There is much we still don't know about the Seawolf class vessels, let alone the newer and even more advanced Virginia class vessels, but one thing that is known is that one ship in the Seawolf class has spent two months submerged under the icy Arctic Ocean and resurfaced near the North Pole for fresh air and the once in a lifetime opportunity to see the vast cold, white Arctic ice cap. There was nobody there but us, said the submarine's commander to WTKR. The thing that strikes you is, it's so quiet. It's completely silent. North Korea's Not-So-New Submarines North Korea is not known for its open and honest communications, so it is perhaps no shock that the country has had a covert submarine building and development program. However, their most recent submarine put on display had a secret of a different sort. As recently as 2019, the North Korean government distributed photos of leader Kim Jong-un touring a purportedly newly built submarine with launch tubes capable of launching ballistic missiles. 
though the official word was that the sub was in the midst of being constructed and had been designed in North Korea to meet modern specifications. A submarine expert who examined the photos told Popular Mechanics in an interview that the sub was likely, in fact, a conversion of an outdated Soviet-era Romeo model submarine, and thus the bulk of the submersible was likely built at least 20 years ago. While it has been retrofitted to carry nuclear-tipped missiles, the submarine itself is something of a relic. Though, with missile launchers and a functioning hull, it still has plenty of potential to be dangerous nonetheless. Russian Submarines – Secret Missions Another fairly recent event in this century of underwater warfare, in July of 2019, a fire broke out on a secretive Russian submarine. The nuclear-powered Project 1083 Losharik submarine is about 200 feet long and contains seven titanium compartments to allow it to dive as much as 20,000 feet below sea level. The research vessel seemingly caught fire while underwater on Russia's Arctic coast, in the Barents Sea near Kildin Island. It resurfaced close enough to shore to cause a panic on the docks, and 14 people aboard the vessel were killed. The vessel has been used in the past for soil collections, but much of its duties and missions were and are kept under wraps, and it's believed to be involved in the development of new technology and weapons. This rumor is further supported by the fact that several higher-ranking officials than would typically be aboard such a ship were present at the time of the fire. Many believe because the researchers were demonstrating a new technology. Russia has been working on a new fleet of modern submarines to replace aging Cold War era vessels, and the Losharik may be a key part of that process. But that's just conjecture for the moment. Perhaps we'll find out what really happened in a short 50 years. Mysterious Chinese Submarines Last, but certainly not least, we look at the nation that is perhaps most successful in keeping its secrets in the modern era. China, which built a full-size, 150-foot submarine without the world finding out it was even happening. Launched in 2018, much to the surprise of the international defense community, the sailless and nameless submarine has a unique design, causing a wide variety of speculation about its mission, crewing, and technology. However, even now, little is known about the submarine, its features, or its intended use. Now that's one secret submarine. And there you have it. Those are the most closely kept secrets in the submarine world of the last 100 years. Did anything here shock you? Do you know of any incredible underwater stories we missed? Sound off in the comments and don't forget to give this video a like and subscribe to this channel for more amazing content like this.